Hello, my name is Ashley Sher. I'm the founder and CEO of Share Love Fund. Today we're going to explore chapter 6, verse 17 of the Gita. Chapter 6 is called the Yoga of Meditation, and verse 17 reads as follows. If, but if you are moderate in eating, plain, it literally even says plain, sleeping, staying awake, and avoiding extremes in everything you do, you will see that these yoga practices eliminate all your pain and suffering. Let us take a deep dive in that. In simpler language, this um, sloka is as follows. Yoga is the middle path, moderation in everything. You have everything in this middle path, including peace of mind and tranquility. But eating too much, you satisfy the body and senses. This means you identify yourself with your body and the senses, and you just want to satisfy them. By not eating, you don't satisfy the body. You may um, satisfy your ego, but it's not helping nourishing you. The ego might say, look, I fasted, I'm so disciplined, I fasted for 10 days, look at me. But this is just another form of ego satisfaction. Instead, a yogi should have a purpose in eating, a purpose in sleeping, a purpose in doing everything. These two are just examples. You don't need to satisfy the body the senses, or your own ego. Do it just for the joy of doing it. And then you maintain your yoga. You're not achieving yoga. You're, you are a yogi already. But you disturb the yoga by over or under eating. It's the golden mean moderate in eating and recreation, temperament in actions, sleep and wakefulness. Then yoga becomes the destroyer of pain. To destroy the pain means to uncover your yoga, which means ease. When you lose your yoga, you fall into roga which means disease. This is not to say it's best to take a little bit of everything or anything. That's not moderation. You don't take a little poison in moderation. There are too many foul things lying on the road. Would you eat them in moderation? I invite you to explore this. May the light in me be the light in you. Have a blessed day. Namaste.